Hey guys, it's me again, Giselle in the Philippines, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, guys, is I'm actually here in my plaza town. So again, I live in a small province here in Valencia. So I made this video in a plaza area because I find it so quiet. And at the same time, it's very good to see the backgrounds, flowers, you know, trees, palm trees like that. For today's video is we're going to talk about is Filipina still worth to date with? Especially nowadays that a lot of scammers, a lot of um, not real or poser, like that kind of thing. So I'm going to share with you guys whatever I can advise. So we're going to talk about the good and the bad on dating Filipinas here in the Philippines. So without further ado, let's start this video. In the Philippines, specifically in the Maguete City, it is very common to see Filipina foreigner dating. And it's more in even big age gap actually guys. like. 60 years old, dating to 20 years old, 25 years old, 23, 22. It is very common, that kind of age gap here in the Philippines. Now the question is, what are the good things and the bad things on dating Filipinas, especially a younger one here in the Philippines? Let's start on talking good things dating Filipinas here in the Philippines. Well, I think there's a countless reasons why you should have date Filipinas. You know, there's a lot of reasons actually that I can share with you when it comes to dating Filipinas. First is we really know how to love someone sincerely, genuinely, like it's real, you know? And it may be hard at the very beginning because especially it's like your first time. We'll say I'm a Filipina and you're my first time I'm dating with. And we're, we're gonna talk about my experience. We'll say my experience. So I'm scared, I'm nervous, uh, I don't know if my language will be okay with them because I'm my, my language is very you know my my English I mean is very limited when it comes to communication so I was totally scared so let's say when you're dating Filipinas and it was for sure you know we'll say it was her first time dating you you have to adjust a lot of things she might be shocked or you know like that so that's a very good thing about us is we are honest and like, hey I could not my 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 English is limited, you know, can you just give me a specific word that very catchy or very unknown word, basic word, you know, like that. That's me. I'm very honest to my, per to my man. If I don't know that, that word, that meaning, I would not act or pretend that I know everything what he's going to say because I don't, you know. And that's a very good thing about Filipinas is we are honest. Honest, honest in communication. Genuine love and we know how to cook, we know how to serve our man. And you know what? We even treat our, our man as our king here in the Philippines. It could be Filipino, it could be American, foreigner, black American, not whatever kind of nationality you have. We Filipinas really value our man. And um, if our things are good, we even want to marry this guy, you know? So that's a very good thing about us. And there's another good reason why you have to date Filipinas. It could be young, it could be older, it could be in the middle class of age. But I think one another reason why Filipinas are deserving your love is when it comes to your hard days, you know, when it comes to your health issues, health situations, we know how to take care. We know how to make your day better. We know how to massage your feet, your head. I was taught by my mother on massaging her head every time she got a headache. I was gonna put something ointment or whatsoever. I put I always massage my my mom, my mom. So in my in my um in my side, I'm gonna do the same thing with my man in the future. I'm gonna massage him, especially when he's having a bad day in work, at work, bad day and some other things. Well, it is what it is because we're gonna have bad and good days, but I'm here, I'm gonna make your day better, I'm gonna make your night better. What can I do for you to make your day better? You know, that's a very good thing about Filipinas is we can do everything to make our man happy. Another reason why you have to date Filipinas is we are good in handling our money. You know, I'm not telling everyone can do that. I'm not telling that every Filipinas is very good at money. But most of us is know how to budget. We'll say the word budget. Okay, so we'll say in, in my experience, I know how to budget my money. We'll say I earn this money or I have this money. I'm going to budget it for the electricity bills, for Wi-Fi bills, for the food bills, like that kind of thing. You know, we're not the kind of person that we're just going to 
Buy, 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 buy. Because we're thinking of our obligations by the end of the day. We're gonna have obligations to pay. We're gonna have food. We need to buy to eat. So we are very good at money, handling money, guys. So if I were you guys, and if you're dating a Filipina, you know, and we'll say you're supporting her, you give her money, we'll say monthly, you know. Please, my advice is, if possible, hopefully the Filipina would not think it badly. If possible, you could ask them, you know, I think it's totally okay. You could ask them, like, can you please update me on how much our money is right now? We'll say you send him, we'll say you send her 10,000 pesos a month. We'll say that word, $200 a month. You, you can, you have the, you have the right to ask how much money left we have like that. You know, that kind of thing. Because, that, you know, in my situations, guys, I always update my partner, we'll say, Hey, I bought this rice, I got, I paid the bills, I whatsoever like that, and this is our money left. You know, at the same time, she feels re respected. He feels value because, you know, you both are working with your money. And that's, you know, if I were you, you could, you know, you could ask if, if you don't mind me asking, what did you buy with the money I sent to you? Or, you know, I think Filipinas were gonna even send pictures or receipts because that's how I do it. I, I, I'm gonna prove to you that I did put the money correctly. I did save the money correctly. I did spend the money in a good ways or like that kind of thing. Filipinas are very good at money. You might wonder why some foreigners are really flying to the Philippines just to see their Filipinas for the first time. And there's a lot of good reasons why the Filipinas are the most desirable women in the Philippines. And like what I've said, there's gonna be good and bad in dating Filipinas. Why some foreigners really wanted to be with Filipinas is because we have a genuine love. We have, we have a very good culture, good traditions. And at the same time, we are family oriented and we prioritize family first here in the Philippines. So that's a very good thing about Filipinas here in the Philippines. A very good thing about us is we value our man. We love to cook for a man. We love to, to give our best for a man. And we know how to make our man happy. And actually, guys, we avoid arguments. If possible, we're just going to be quiet and not argue and different things. Or I will not going to argue with a person that I love with because I know it will going to come up to the point that you're going to talk about this, 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 and then boom, you're going to break up or you're going to like broke up and then after your relationship will be ending because of just a misunderstanding or arguments. So that's one of the reasons why Filipinas and foreigners are really good match with each other because Filipinas know how to understand and at the same time foreigners know how to understand as well. Now let's go to the disadvantages of dating Filipinas here in the Philippines. I heard a lot of news, I heard a lot of issues that foreigners, Filipinas are not get along together after a few years, long time together and they end up splitting. And the question is what would be the, the common reasons why Filipina broke up with their foreigners where they are already, they were good in the very beginning. Some foreigners would not date Filipinas in the Philippines because some would say scammers, some would say not real, not legit one. Some would say you're just gonna you're just gonna gold digger or like that. You know, I can't blame them if they think that way. Maybe because they experience, they already experience, or they heard a lot of news, a lot of issues about that. We can't blame those kind of people. But you know what, guys? Some are real. You know, like some are scamming you, and you don't even know that. It happens already because everything went so well, everything is so soft. But the reality is it's coming you. So you have to be very careful, guys, on how on the people you talk with. You have to make sure that you do a video call with her or you have to make sure that you see her first, even in a phone call. Do not trust the person that you don't even see. Do not give them right away something or a gift right away, especially if you don't know them properly, if you don't know them deeply because you'll be very close to scam that's a good that's a bad thing about filipinas is you know sometimes they're gonna just make this it's just really hard to predict who is good and who is bad so if you encountered weirdness or you always follow your gut guys or always follow your mind if 
this girl might be good or this girl might be bad. So yes, some of them are scammers, some of them are not real or they are just pretend, pretending to be single but you know, by the end of the day they are married or like that. You have to be very careful when you have talked to someone, when you're talking to a Filipina. Another reason why some foreigners would not date Filipinas it's because of the family problem. Um, in the Philippines, we are very kind of like taught first, the family first, no matter what happened. So Sam is not, is cannot stand on that tradition or in that culture that, you know, uh, family will get, gonna rely on you, especially when they know that you have foreigners with, you know, because I have, I have read a lot of comments, I have read or watch even a lot of videos that sometimes the bad thing about Filipino culture is we'll say in your family once they know that you are dating this guy even when your stage of dating not married or anything we'll stay you know we'll say stage of dating and then when, when we say we're gonna take that guy to our house people were gonna look at you people were gonna feel ignorant so oh, who is this guy Oh, they're gonna think about a lot of things already that, oh, they'll get rich one day. Oh, they'll get buy a car one day. Oh, they'll get buy li land one day, a house one day. And that's one thing that I don't really like about it because they were too advanced or I don't like taking advantage with it, you know, because we'll say, the, we'll say a Filipina is very kind because we were thought to be kind. We were thought to be family first. So we'll say at the very beginning, we used to give them something, we help them as we can. But if it's get too long and too long and too long, they're gonna take advantage of you. They're not gonna work because, you know, they know that you are gonna help them. And that's a very good, very bad thing, guys. So it's okay to help, but you can also say no at all times. You know, it's okay to help. Actually, guys, helping family is not an obligation. It's love. So it's not my, it's not responsibilities, but I think it's love. Because especially when you build your own family already, you have to focus with your family and they have to stand with yourself. They have to work to survive. I'm not, I'm not the kind of robot that I'll go left and right to help both. You know, I have my own family and that is what they need to understand from a Filipino perspective or from a Filipino kind of culture is they have to understand that once we get married to an American or foreigners, they have to understand that we're going to build our own family. You know, we're going to pay our own bills. We're going to pay our own food, especially if we created a lot of families, children. I'm going to have my own. So they have, gonna, they have to stand in their own as well. They don't need to rely because it's not going to be a good thing. It's not going to be a good cultural thing when it comes to Filipino. And if you know, guys, if you're not going to help them, will say you stop helping them because you want them to stand up. They would think that you change. You have changed because you're just a foreigner. You are not gonna help us because you know like that. That's a very bad culture thing that I don't really about I don't really like about it. You know what guys it's I even come to the point that I was in that kind of situations. But I have to end that. I have to stop that kind of thing because by the end of the day if I'm gonna ask help, they're not gonna be with you. So uh, you have to, you know, I was took advantage and um, I'm very thankful and happy because now I am not afraid to not help. I'm not afraid to what they have said to me, whatever they have said, negative or whatsoever, because I think, you know, they need, they have their families. So they have to work, they have to work, they have to stand up. So yeah, that's a very bad thing about dating Filipinas, especially when it comes to family, is is the culture about dating foreigners. They would think a lot of advantages. They were gonna think a lot of advantages once I'm going to date a foreigners. So now you've known the good and the bad on dating Filipinas. Now the question is, are we still worth to date? Yeah, so comment below guys if you know what's the answer. And I think for me, based on my experience, we are still worth to date. Even through the negative things and positive things as a Filipina, I think we still deserve to be loved by some other countries and I think we deserve to be treated as well as um, a good woman or like that. So I think we deserve. I think we are still worth the date with. Uh, Filipinas are 
uh, more positive than the negative. I think so. And yeah, a lot of things is very beautiful with us Filipinas. And I find it so beautiful because foreigners see the same thing like what I see will say my skin, my beauty. For them, it's so freaking beautiful. And we have those kind of things. And again, guys, we will not gonna matter if you're beautiful outside or whatsoever. It always should be come out inside. You know, how beautiful you are in the inside. And once you see a woman with a good heart, with a pure love, sincere love, genuine, and have a commitment with you guys, keep her. She's gonna be the best for you. She's, she is for you. So if you find a woman, it's still Filipina, still worth to date nowadays. You just have to find the good ones. You just have to find the good Filipinas that has more positive vibes and has more um, faith and um, loyalty with you. And I think Filipinas have that. So please, um, if you find one, keep her. Again, guys, this is just my opinion, my experience. My ideas that I wanted to share with you, there's nothing wrong in dating Filipinas, of course, but you have to be, you have to be very alerted. You have to, to be open-minded. What's going to be the outcome once I'll date Filipinas? It's going to be a lot of positive things happen to you when you date Filipinas, of course, but there are going to be some other disadvantages, big advantages of dating Filipinas. So uh, you have to consider all of those things because it's part of our life. It's not going to be perfect. Nobody is perfect. So if you dated something nice, women, so if you're dating someone that has more on positive vibes, keep her. So that's all for now, guys. I am very happy to share that small uh, video to all of you. And I hope that you learned something from it. And I'm not saying do not date Filipinas, but you can date Filipinas. And um, you just have, I just want to give you advice that, um, there's gonna be a disadvantages of our advantages on dating Filipinas. This is me again, Jisela in the Philippines. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!